from <laughs> Rural Fest. I tell you what, I still get, get used to the fact that it's in September because it's normally in April and usually they pushed it back twice, right? Right. Yeah. And, and in April, you have thunderstorms most often. Uh, this time we've got a little bit of rain, I do think, in the Merle Fest forecast. I don't think it's going to be a total washout, though. Four days is pretty difficult to get dry skies unless it was just last week, right? That was so nice, wasn't it? Well, we are definitely increasing the humidity out there, and you probably noticed that. And the clouds are going to start to get a little thicker, too. You can see them there in the skies over Winston-Salem. So they're out there already, and a little bit of patchy light rain that has already moved in in a few spots as well. We've got 73 in Asheboro, 72 in Lexington and High Point. Those numbers holding pretty close to 70 degrees, even up around Mount Airy. 69 in Yakinville as well as Elkin, and we've got low 60s in Sparta. So the steamier air, that tropical air, is going to be with us at least through Saturday. And then we may back off a little bit and bring in some drier air by early next week. Not only drier air, but also drier skies. And the skies may actually dry out by Sunday. Again, I don't think it's going to rain every day, all day, but we do have opportunities for some showers heading into our weekend. You notice a little bit of light rain right now. It's having a difficult time moving to the north, but we'll see at least some of this scattered around for the next several hours. So some sprinkles here and there from Burlington, some patchier, steadier light rain from Moxville to Lexington. Again, I do think we're going to see some of that continuing as we've kind of got a little convergence zone set up here. It's coming off of the Atlantic and then out ahead of our front. We're kind of sandwiched in between three things, which we're going to talk about in just a second. You can see some of the wet weather here overnight and into tomorrow morning, so I think it may linger. You may wake up to a a few drops or at least a wet driveway out there and then kind of off and on throughout the day tomorrow. I think there's opportunities for some rain and I think maybe a higher rain chance or slightly higher in the triad. And then by afternoon we may actually get some heavier downpours or maybe a rumble or two of thunder in our forecast by then. So here's how tomorrow will likely play out. We've got kind of an easterly flow, so that's pretty cloudy for us and kind of damp. We'll keep the shower and storm chances in mainly in the afternoon. For the foothills, the temperatures are in the upper 70s, maybe not quite to 80 degrees. Also that east northeast wind out there. Your Merle Fest forecast will start you with Thursday, which is going to be muggy, and we do have an opportunity for at least a few showers around. I think Friday may be the wetter of the weekend days. We'll keep some showers, possibly a thunderstorm around on Saturday, and then try to dry things out at least to skywise a little bit by Sunday. Here's the forecast for the mountains for tomorrow, Thursday, right? East northeast wind, humid air, clouds around, and yes, some wet weather. I was talking about three things. Well, it's the cold front here, then what's left of Nicholas down here with still flooding concerns, and then this new one, that area of low pressure that is not too far from the Bahamas. Now, it doesn't look like Nicholas is going to move a whole lot, kind of staying put here, so that means, unfortunately, more rain for the folks that don't need it. And then we've got another little area here. Uh, actually, the hurricane hunters flew into that this evening. They came back. They said, oh, it's kind of disorganized. The highest winds are on the east side of the low. We don't think it's quite tropical yet, but it will likely become a tropical depression here over the next couple of days. Right now, the storm track does move it north and generally pretty close to the Carolina coast. So we're probably going to see some impacts with some high surf and some rip current issues. So if you do have a trip planned to the beach, particularly for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you may have to deal with that. Here's our seven day forecast. Temperatures in the low to maybe mid 80s. It's not too hot. It is a bit humid, but it'll be drier next week.